फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज पुष्कर एंड वेलकम टू नेक्स्ट ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ एंगुलर सेवन सीरीज इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द मोड्यूल्स दैट व्हाट इज अ मॉड्यूल एंड व्हाट आर द एडवांटेज टू यूज मॉड्यूलर स्ट्रक्चर एंड हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट अ मॉड्यूल इन एंगुलर सेवन एंड व्हाट आर द मेटाडेटास इन एंगुलर मॉड्यूल ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो बेसिकली मॉड्यूल्स प्रोवाइड अ वे टू ऑर्गेनाइज code and large application in the better way so suppose that you are working into the bigger application or large application and uh, if we divide that application into the small small modules then how is how it is easy to work or how easily we can manage the application and at the end we can combine that application into the one app uh, one application right so and angular has also a modular structure and uh, module is basically a container that contains components directives files and service provider which are related to particular that module okay and uh, in angular modules in angular modules are simply a types to classes and uh, that decorated with at the rate ng module decorator and uh, that ng module decorator is imported from at the rate angular code package so if you remember that in last video we have created one uh, last last video we have created one application using a angular cli right and uh, whenever you create a any uh, angular application using a cli it creates at least one module and one component and uh, this is a first module that uh, angular cli created okay so and this is a starting module so uh, the question is that how, like how angular identify that this is a starting module so in it is given into the main.ts of uh, src folder so go to the main.ts here you can say that this is a bootstrap module of this particular application okay this is an app module right okay and uh, into the angular modules we have an polling met polling metadata like this is this is a declaration imports providers and bootstrap okay so uh, declaration basically it contains the list of components directives and pipes which belongs to the particular module so whenever we create a new component we have to add firstly into the declaration okay so suppose uh, we are creating an um, any component or any directive or any pipe then we have to first add that into the particular module the next is a uh, is imports okay so it, in this section we gen we add modules names whose features are needed in the application like suppose we want to use the features of the form module or http client module cloud module basically those are the like uh, provided by angular so if you want to use those modules features into our module then we have to import those into the imports array sections okay next is in a provider so basically here we add us the header services into the this sections and uh, next is a bootstrap and bootstrap array is tells that uh, angular tells angular that uh, about the root component of the application so this is a root component of the or we can say this is a first component which loaded when uh, loaded when application start okay so next is that how we can create new modules okay so for that we have our command that is ng space g space m and uh, module name okay so here ng is a uh, angular command angular identification and uh, g is stands for generate and m is for module and at the end here yeah, module name okay so go to command prompt and uh, create a new module so uh, i am going to i am going to open one command prompt so first step yeah 
so you can see that here is a first app we are we are inside inside into the first app application and uh, now create a one module that ng generate module and uh, like suppose we are creating one shared module okay shared so let's click enter it will take some time around the 30 or 40 seconds around so let's wait for it to complete let, let it complete and uh, in this tutorial we have used some keywords like uh, decorators so we'll don't worry we'll explain do about those in next video that what is a component and what is a modules what are what are the decorators okay. yeah you can see that created one shared module and uh, that is into the shared folder so go to the visual studio and here you can see that there is a one shared folder and inside that we have shared module and uh, you till yet we have not included this module into the our application so let's include it into the import section and uh, import it and now use intelligency and import this okay okay so and uh, now let's just uh, for identifying that this module is uh, triggered or not so uh, add a constructor here yes, constructor and alert here that hello push okay. so and, uh, and uh, my server is already up here and uh, it is compiled successfully and uh, go to the browser uh, you can see that hello push curve. okay so means that uh, particular module is instantiated or triggered okay you can see again that if i refresh okay let's refresh it once again let's see that. hello push curve. okay yeah uh, that's it for this video in the next video we will talk about the what is a component and what are the decorators and uh, little bit about the pipes as well so yeah yeah thank you and uh, if you uh, if you like this video please subscribe my channel yeah that's it thank you